She had sex with Mr. Gates back in 2017 when she was 17 years old. If you're a fan of irony, you're gonna love this. The entire country, of which 275 million Americans didn't vote for Donnie Diapers, well, they're all rooting now for Trump to put together a cabinet that doesn't look like this. Now, the latest fight, and for the record, almost all the fighting is coming from inside the Trump circle. Well, now it's coming from the New York Post editorial board. <laughs> Seen here hard at work, the editorial board is now urging Trump to rethink his nominations and to ditch Tulsi Gabbard, whom he picked as the National Intelligence Director, and Matt Gates, teen throb and molester general. Sex charges against me. Trump bum buddy Rupert Murdoch, who owns the New York Post and Fox News, backed the editorial that called Gabbard and Gates chaos agents who threatened to derail Trump's agenda. The editorial said Gabbard's been sympathetic to dictators in Syria and Russia. Yeah, but isn't that exactly what Trump's agenda is all about? So what would you what would you say when he said to you that Hitler did a lot of good things? First of all, you should never say that. Tonight, a blockbuster new account of Donald Trump's close relationship with Vladimir Putin, their alleged private phone calls after Trump left office, and news that Trump secretly sent the Russian president COVID equipment. The truth is, no one knows what Gabbard is or stands for. One day a Democrat, one day a Republican, but every day all about Tulsi. Finding out all of these lies that you've told, not just one little lie or one little embellishment. These are blatant lies. M my question is, do you have no shame? That's Tulsi looking in the mirror. But the New York Post saved most of their venom for Maddie, I'll babysit your 14-year-old Gates, whose career is falling faster than Trump's sagging titties when he sheds his man bra. The editorial says that Gates' own colleagues say he's a sleaze. But wait a second, compared to Trump, Gates is an amateur. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. So maybe that's why Trump won't back down. And Maggie, you have new reporting on the president-elect's support for Matt Gates. Where is his head at? on this right now. So, Caitlin, he is not backing off. As you said, he is calling people, senators and others, trying to push Gates and three other very controversial nominees through uh, once the nominating process actually begins. It hasn't yet, although you'd think that Trump was in office already uh, based on how much talk there is. But he is very focused on getting Gates over the line. Privately, he has said uh, in discussions with people that he thinks that Gates' chances of getting confirmed are, you know, the odds are less than 50 percent or less than even. Uh, but he is still going to push ahead with it and he is digging in and I expect that that is going to be the posture for as long as he can hold it. They're not talking openly about replacements, but they have a number of options who they have looked at. The AG post, Attorney General post, as you make no, Caitlin, is one of the most important to President-elect Trump, and it is something that he has been talking about for a very long time. The assortment of cabinet picks are running the gambit, from close to normal with little Marco, to the brain worm who wants to bring measles back and rot your teeth with fluoride-free tap water. What I'm gonna do is make sure that Americans have good information, good, the best gold standard science about their food and medicines, and then leave the choice to them. RFK Jr.'s views on science and medicine have been controversial at best and often scientifically wrong. He's touted debunked studies that connect vaccines to autism, disproven by much research with the CDC clearly stating there's no connection between the two. And now RFK is talking about another hot button issue, saying he will advise cities to remove fluoride in drinking water. I think fluoride is on the way out because of that court decision. I think the faster that it goes out, the better. The court decision he's referring to is from September, when a federal judge ordered the EPA to further regulate fluoride in drinking water. It shows it's lowering the IQ in, in our children. But that's not exactly what the study said in the U.S. It said, quote, no studies evaluating IQ were conducted in the United States. The salient point behind these cabinet picks is that in Trump world, these are all absolutely normal. And Murdoch, who's made a fortune kissing Trump's brown stain, is now trying to undo what he has done. And what is that? While it's true that Gates and Trump are cut from the same pedo cloth, the New York Post is right that Gabbard would be the greater danger because she's simpatico with Trump when it comes to Putin and shutting down aid to Ukraine. Hard to believe it was nine years ago that Manafort fled Ukraine when the people overthrew their dictator Yanukovych. Manafort then took over Trump's campaign and convinced Trump and the RNC to discontinue aid to Ukraine, which ultimately led to this war. And again, Murdoch is right that the appointment of Gabbard tells the world you can't trust Trump 
or her. And that's really bad news. As head of U.S. intelligence, Gabbard would be an extension of Trump, and our allies will stop giving us information that could protect America. Why? Remember this? No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You gotta pay. When you line up the shit show that is Trump's cabinet, these two together offer the greatest danger to our safety that you could imagine. Gates's first job as attorney general would be to end any and all investigations into foreign interference into our elections, why Trump stole our top secret documents and where they are now, how he orchestrated a coup, and of course, lower the age of consent to 12. Thursday night, you're going up the escalator? I'm gonna be dating her in 10 years. But the greatest irony afloat is Fox News' owner rearranging the chairs on the Titanic. Iceberg, run ahead! Fox News has and is still supporting Trump's insanity. What would solve the whole thing in the border if they would just start shooting? Only shoot a couple and they would go home. From his cruel deportation plans. America is for Americans and Americans only. There is definitely more to this story. To allowing Bobby Worm to attack pharmaceuticals and proven pandemic fighting procedures. At the end, I don't wear a mask for the same reason I don't un wear underwear. Things gotta breathe. I'm surprised she ain't in the cabinet. I love the poorly educated. But speaking of women, Trump appointed one of the co-founders of U.S. professional wrestling, WW something, to head up the department that he said he would eliminate, education. Donald Trump has chosen former WWE CEO Linda McMahon to lead the U.S. Department of Education. Now, throughout his campaign, Trump criticized the Education Department, saying that it's been infiltrated by, quote, radicals, zealots, and Marxists. He also proposed dismantling the federal department, making education a state issue instead. It's a move that would require Congress to act. The agency's main role is financial. Each year, it distributes billions in federal funding to colleges and schools and manages the federal student loan portfolio. Acknowledging that Gabbard and Gates are not only dangerous to our country, but possibly to the world, will Murdoch and Fox follow through on the rest? I mean, the rest of Trump's insanity, the tariffs, and the deportation that will wreck our economy. By the way, what happens when you, what sword. does happen when you put tariffs on uh, on goods and you and you? Well, Stop immigration and force migrants to leave well, in I mean, terms like, of wages. Unless you're Hamill, I'm kind of against it. Isn't usually. that going to be inflationary? Of course. And there's more. McMahon makes Betsy DeVos look like Mr. Rogers. And of course, Dr. Oz, who is a Turkish citizen and a member of the Turkish army, pal of the Turkish dictator and a disgraced physician who promoted hydroxy and weight loss diets that were dangerous. He also, and I'm not shitting you, unnecessarily killed puppies while at Columbia University. But here's my final question. Will Fox News continue to incite MAGA and perpetuate the danger they helped create? Or will Fox News stand up to Trump and instead walk away from the billions of dollars they could garner by propagating his incessant lies, obfuscations, and deliberate attempts to destroy our democracy? I want to be a dictator. I think I answered my own question. Damn right. This isn't their Republican Party anymore. This is not a normal election. Whether the women like it or not. Suck my fat one. Who's with me? Trust me. Shut the f*** up, Dan. Who's with me? Oh, yeah, the lie. Indictable. Out of sheer morbid curiosity, I'm allowing this freak show to continue i don't want to talk about this stuff am i wrong yes. TikTok. you're in a lot of trouble donnie <laughs> i think he's crazy i'm chip franklin